On January 27, 2025, Wall Street was shaken to its core. As the trading day unfolded, the so-called mysterious force from the East sent shockwaves through the financial world. NVIDIA's stock plummeted by 17%, wiping out $600 billion in market value. Few could have predicted that this turmoil originated from a Chinese AI company founded just 18 months ago, and even fewer knew the man behind it. Who is Liang Wenfeng? Born in 1985 in the third-tier city of Zhangjiang, Guangdong, China, Liang Wenfeng was raised by a father who worked as an elementary school teacher. From a young age, he showed a deep interest in mathematical modeling. In 2002, at the age of 17, he was admitted to Zhejiang University, majoring in electronic information engineering. Five years later, in 2007, he pursued a master's degree in information and communication engineering at the same university. How wealthy is Liang Wenfeng? By 2016, at the age of 31, Liang's firm was already managing assets worth around 1 billion RMB, $140 million. The following year, in 2017, he expanded his AI research team and fully integrated AI-driven strategies into his firm's operations. By the end of that year, his company was managing over 3 billion RMB, 420 million. It is estimated that Liang had already become a billionaire in RMB before turning 30. Third Gregory Zuckerman and Liang Wenfeng. Gregory Zuckerman, a special contributor to the Wall Street Journal, had previously encountered Liang Wenfeng through his book, The Man Who Solved the Market, a biography of quantitative investing pioneer Jim Simons. Liang had written the foreword for the book's Chinese edition stating, Whenever I face challenges in my work, I recall Simon's words, there must be a way to model prices. Zuckerman later publicly addressed Liang in an article writing, I know you're in China, I'll be waiting up. What is Liang Wenfeng's connection to DJI founder Frank Wang? There is a rumor that DJI founder Frank Wang once invited Liang Wenfeng to join him in founding the drone company but Liang chose a different path because he believed that artificial intelligence was the key to the future. It should be noted that this is merely a rumor circulating within the industry and there is no conclusive evidence to support it. When did Liang Wenfeng start exploring automated quantitative trading? During the 2008 global financial crisis, a 23-year-old Liang, still a graduate student at Zhejiang University, began collecting market data, financial indicators, and macroeconomic statistics to explore fully automated quantitative trading. His early work between 2008 and 2014 laid the foundation for his later entrepreneurial ventures. Why did Liang Wenfeng enter the AI model industry? Despite being a pioneer in AI-driven quantitative trading, Liang's decision to move into AI model research wasn't primarily driven by commercial interests. In one of his rare media interviews, he explained, many of the core members at my company have AI backgrounds. We experimented with various applications before focusing on the highly complex financial sector. General AI is perhaps the next great challenge. For us, it's not a question of why, but how to do it. If we had to find a commercial justification, well, there really isn't one, it just wouldn't be cost-effective. He continued, Many people assume there's some hidden business logic behind this, but in reality it's mostly driven by curiosity, by the desire to push the boundaries of AI. What is DeepSeek's connection to Xiaomi? A standout AI researcher at DeepSeek, known as the genius girl of the 90s, Luo Fuli, was reportedly recruited by Xiaomi CEO Lei Jun with an annual salary in the tens of millions of RMB. How many GPUs does DeepSeek own? In June 2015, DeepSeek had only 10 GPUs. By 2019, Liang founded Huanfang AI and invested 200 million RMB in developing a deep learning training platform, Firefly One, which housed 1,100 GPUs. In 2021, Huanfang acquired NVIDIA. 
A100 GPUs ahead of major cloud providers, reaching tens of thousands of GPUs in its AI cluster. Awards and recognitions. In 2018, Liang's company won the prestigious Golden Bull Award, China's highest honor in private equity. On August 30th, 2019, at the Golden Bull Award ceremony, Liang delivered a keynote speech titled The Future of Quantitative Investing from a Programmer's Perspective. He emphasized, the future of quantitative investing lies in using technology to make markets more efficient. Philanthropy and the Mystery Donor In 2022, an anonymous donor named A Simple Pig contributed 138 million RMB to charities supporting leukemia treatment, rural craftsmanship training, scholarships for high school students, and veterans' welfare. Many speculate that the donor was Liang Wenfeng himself. Why is DeepSeek called the Temu of AI? DeepSeek V2 set industry-shaking low prices, charging only 1 RMB per million input tokens and 2 RMB per million output tokens, just 1% of OpenAI's GPT-4 turbo pricing. Following its release, tech giants like ByteDance, Alibaba, Baidu, and Tencent slashed their AI model prices in response. Additionally, DeepSeek V3 had a training cost of only $5.57 million, whereas OpenAI reportedly spent $78 to $100 million training GPT-4.0, at least 10 times the cost. DeepSeek's founding and team size. DeepSeek was established in July 2023 as Hangzhou DeepSeek AI Research. It has only 139 engineers and researchers. By comparison, OpenAI has around 1,200 researchers, while Anthropic has over 500. The DeepSeek R1 model. On December 26, 2024, DeepSeek launched DeepSeek V3 alongside a 53-page technical report co-authored by Liang and Luo Fuli. The model outperformed Quen 2.5-72B and Llama 3.1-405B in multiple benchmarks and rivaled closed-source models like GPT-40 and Claude 3.5-Sonnet. On January 20th, 2025, DeepSeek released DeepSeek R1, sparking global attention. Liang's view on copying and originality. Liang once stated, China must take the lead in cutting-edge technology. For 30 years, we've largely been absent from real IT innovation, passively benefiting from Moore's law. True differentiation isn't just about being one or two years behind, it's the difference between imitation and originality. The Low-Key Idealist Despite his financial success, Liang remains an advocate for open-source AI, believing that China must contribute to global technological advancements. Many in the industry see him as a quiet, technical idealist, 